Hello everyone, this is Will. This is Alex. Welcome back to another episode of They Mostly Come Out at Night. <laughs> Mostly. Two more. Oh I don't know if God. I want to do it. Dude. I, I don't know anymore. I, I, I didn't know for a long time, but I I'm mean, just we, not. We kind of, we've already done it. Like We have to. We've already made it through this many movies. Dude. We might as well just do fucking two more. How? I just... I can't. This guy is so... Oh, I hate him so much. The more we watch, the more I just loathe him, in, like, entirely. The lack of effort. I cannot stand him. Like, it makes me sick thinking about these movies. Yeah. We are going to have to do another unorthodox review here because I just... <laughs> We just don't give a shit. I just didn't care. I'm going to be completely honest. I did not fucking like, care. We thought Lucifer Complex was bad. Worst movie ever, right? But I just... Watching this... Here's the thing. At least Lucifer Complex has a structure. As as stupid as it as is, it does. As stupid as it is, it has a structure. Yes. There is something motivating these characters. The plot. Yes. There's something driving the movie forward. Yes, and the characters, for even, how fucking stupid they are, stuff happens to the characters. Even Curse of a Head the Headless Horseman. There is a plot. Well, and there's something, again, there's something driving the characters to the end goal. Yeah, to the ending of the movie. Right. There's something motivating these people. So you're not just watching it, like, fucking dying and dozing off. And you're not connecting with some unemotional asshole the whole time some fucking vacuum and the <laughs> the movie by the way is in the name of the king 3 the last mission or the last job yeah whatever depending you on call it. what the internet feels like saying uh, i just and I after don't... i thought the in the name of the king 2 was the worst pile of monkey fuck this Okay, but here's here's the thing about number two. There's a reason he gets sent to the past. Yes. There's a reason he fights for them. There's yes. a reason that the guy is evil and they go back into the future. There's a yes. reason these things happen. Yes. Now with three, Uwe Boll was just like, I'm gonna fuck do, that. I'm gonna do the same, the almost exact same plot, the same movie. but with no story. Yeah. Except the main I mean, character there's like now. Very little story. And there's like some, there's just enough story to make it an hour and twenty minutes. Dude, the main character in this isn't even like he's an assassin, and, and he kills people, and then and then he kidnaps kids, and we're supposed to care for this dude. And then somehow the act of him getting sent back to the past, he has a change of heart. And then he goes back in time. Well, remember, he doesn't even want to fight for them. And then all of a sudden he does. And then he just knows how to sword fight. And then he knows how to ride a horse conveniently. And then... No, no, not right away. Because we have the riveting comedy scenes. Where he tries to ride a horse. And he falls off. And breaks his ass. So... And, me... then he, and then he has to get a fucking, like, stool. And stick it next to the horse. Let's at least try and loosely describe what happens in the plot. No. I... Okay, so... No. Yeah, we have to. Loosely, okay. Lo it's going to be very loose, okay? So, dude... I already basically did, but okay. I know. <laughs> Cause All right, but, like, I mean... The movie opens with him, like, doing a job. Well, no, 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 actually, no, I forgot. I'm sorry. The movie opens in true genius filmmaker fashion, where we see him sitting on a bed... Yep, and then... ...looking fucking bored out of his mind... And then we see a dead dude in a bathroom. Yep. And then it shows him doing that said job for some reason. And then we have a five-minute scene that is him walking into a hotel, walking upstairs, and killing a bunch of people. Yep. And, and then, then he, he sits, sits in bed. bed and and then we have the, the shot of the fucking... Scene. Yep. And he makes himself a coffee, Will. He makes himself a coffee. An instant coffee. And then he goes to his house. He gets a message that there's another job. And then he goes and... Meets with the guy. Meets with the guy. He gives him then, a folder. And then goes home and then gets a call. And telling him, like, go do this. And, and then, then we, he, like... And then we get another scene that we just literally saw where the guy, where these kids are getting picked up from school. 
and it shows them getting picked up, but then it shows how he got the car and how he killed the guy that was driving the car and then went to pick up the kids and it shows the same scene of him and then we know it's him picking up the kids. And he like fucking yells at them and duct tapes them, which we don't see. And puts them in a shipping container. And then he, he has a weird magical car because when he parks the car, there's nobody in the back seat. <laughs> and yeah, he sticks them in a shipping container and then... They have a fucking... Like a talisman. And it's the same... He has a tattoo that's literally the same pattern on his arm. Convenient. And he steals it. And then walks outside. And the portal opens and he's in the past. That's... There you go. There you go. So then... I... He walks through the forest, walks into a village, and a dragon attacks. He shoots at it a few times. And then meets the two girls. He tries to get on a horse for five minutes. And then they're like... He's like... This is like the most basic, basic shit. Cause he's just like, I need to go back. Like I need to go back and you go back. And like the only person that has the talisman is Torvald or Torvald. And they're like, Torvert. we'll take, we'll take you to him. And that's it. He and tries to get on a horse. He tries to get on a horse for five minutes. They think it's funny and it's definitely not funny. No, it's the funniest thing ever. Will. and they're riding and then they get attacked by the dragon and then. No, they, they get attacked by two oh yeah two dudes an army an army of people and it's the shakiest fucking fight scenes in any uve bowl film so far this has this movie has some of if not the absolute if worst you have motion sickness i guarantee you you will feel like you have to throw up beware of this movie i almost fucking hurled this has the worst not in this scene in particular, but there was one scene where they're fighting the fucking army. Holy shit. The only other time I felt that nauseous is Hardcore Henry at the end when the yeah. fucking gravity thing goes crazy. <laughs> Dude, I could not with that scene. I, I saw it in theaters and I almost vomited. Yeah, this is like that, except it's it's just Uwe Boll being a fucking idiot and not knowing how to film action. But yeah, they get attacked and like they fight him off and it's fine. They go to this guy and he tells them that there's a prophecy. Oh yeah, they go to the shaman guy and he's making chicken noodle soup and you think he's making like a spell. But a he's potion. Making, he's making chicken noodle soup. Ha <laughs> ha, funny, funny. And there's a prophecy and there's a reason he has the tattoo because he's a chosen one. He's a chosen Never warrior. Never seen anything like this in any other movie. And I was like, oh, he means he's going to be like the king because only the king's men have that the mark it's around but point, no it's around this point we started making connections and then figured out that they don't fucking care about connections. oh nothing matters <laughs> nothing matters in this fucking movie there's no fuck a doodle do with him being the king there's no fuck a doodle do with fucking the we the get a two fucking girls flashback ancestors or anything like that because i thought the two girls in past were going to be ancestors of the two girls locked in the fucking thing no nope just fucking forget we about all scene. your fucking there's no foreshadowing we get a scene where he like fucking they like hold hands and the shaman sees like a vision and it's our fucking vacuum fighting uh, the bad guy <laughs> the bad guy who in the forest happens to look exactly, exactly like the other the recruiter guy the, the guy who gives him jobs mm -hmm. in present day and i was like oh they're gonna be all everyone's related nope nope so okay, that's that's what I was trying. But to it pinpoint. is the that, same actor. That's what I was trying to pinpoint though. There's no like, there's like scenes of them supposedly foreshadowing, right? But then they don't. There's no payoff. There's no payoff in this entire movie where you None. get to see like, oh, that's connected to this, or this is this happens with this. No, no. nothing. There's no fucking money shot in this fucking movie. No, because after this, they just go back to the fucking village. And get attacked. They get attacked by more dudes. They escape. And a bunch of them are dead, but none of this has any consequences yep. for anything. They're just surviving, and then they go to an armory in the fucking middle of a cave. We get a sh scenes of the fucking bad guy killing henchmen, as you do. And we get scenes of him having a, a, t a modern, like, tattoo. So in the movie, you know, it's, it's filmed at, like, an actual old castle. They couldn't, but, they couldn't film, I want to mention also, they couldn't film inside the castle, so no. they had to film outside the castle the whole time. Because uh, whoever owned it was just like, yeah, like, this is like a museum, you can't just fucking film in there. And so, to get around it, they built a fucking, like, tent, tented bedroom in the courtyard, 
and our fucking idiot bad guy just walks around there without a shirt on with his modern day fucking kanji tattoo on his back. And he has, I love it because his arms are covered in modern tattoos. Yeah. They're not, and they just show him shirtless. Like, it's fine. Like, it doesn't matter. It's fine. They couldn't just put a tunic on him. No, and, you know, you couldn't be like, oh, the reason he has modern tattoos is because it's actually the same fucking guy from present day. You would think they would do <laughs> nope. that? No. No. Nope. Fuck that. No. He just has that because fuck They're different people. Everything. They're different people. They're not related in any way, even though they're it's the same actor. The same actor. I I don't understand. And it, it's funny because the two girls in the shipping container, one is brunette and one is blonde. The two fucking people yeah. he meets in the village, one is brunette and one is blonde, and and they both have like the same accents and everything. And it's like, nope, nope, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. fucking matter. It's Just like it's forget like... everything you think about movies and like connecting yeah. the like. The, lo- the dots. It almost makes you wonder, like, was that supposed... Like, was that part of, like, Did the original... Did just fucking forget? Like, was that in the script? And then he just fucking just jerked off all over it, and, he like... Just, he just monged all over this fucking Like, the script? page, the page that would have explained it for you, he just, like, jizzed all over it one day. Yeah. And then that's it. They just, like, threw it out. It doesn't exist. Cause I guess a- so. Because after this, like... They, they, have, they have this fucking, like inspirational speech where the guy's like oh my god either we fight or we face our doom and they're like yeah i'm like shouldn't you have said that the other way that's fine and then they meet the big army in the woods yes and they have the fucking nauseating fight like vomit inducing it was like a vomitorium after five minutes of this the main bad guy and our idiot vacuum duel and it's the scene that was foreshadowed yes and then the fucking he summons the dragon because he's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> and he and rides so, away. And then they follow him to the castle. But once they're fighting, it's like a obviously dip. not the castle. It's not even a castle. It's like an abandoned factory or it's something. It's like a bunch of bricks. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this is this is our final confrontation. And they just punch each other a bunch. And then he stabs the guy into a wall. And then portal shows up and then he kisses the girl and then goes through the portal but not before the dragon flies through it and then they land in modern day with the dragon and he fucking holds a gun to some poor dude's head as he drives down the same street five times in a row and they end up at the same building that they got transported to but it's fine and then they're just all of a sudden on the train tracks because the dragon nopes out and the fucking the guy who gave him the job is now at the shipping container. He wants to, like, I don't know, kill the so girls or something. He's telling one of his henchmen, like, who's a woman, to, like, open the shipping container because they're going to kill the girls. And then he's telling all his other goons to go after this guy. And he's there. And Even he though they ki- have no idea where he is, no. they're just, like, searching around this abandoned shipping, sh- shipping yard. And he kills all of them. And then he's fighting with the girl, and she's about to shoot him, and the dragon just... Like snaps her <laughs> up, and <laughs> looks, I want. Can we go into the fucking this stupid animation of the fucking dragon? It looks like so, it looks like a, a screensaver. Screen yeah, it, like it's like a like a Windows like eight screensaver. Yeah, no, it's and it like clips through things. So like it, when it's in the city, like you see it flying like through things like power lines and stuff and, like, yeah you see it like it's wing clipping through buildings and shit like they couldn't even like give it like permanence in the fucking movie they couldn't bother no i mean it, there's one scene of it bouncing off of like a building and the bricks like a little bit of like animated the brick bricks falls off yeah fall off but that's all you get but that's it the, all the other time they're incompetent and in making sure this thing looks like feels like it's in the real world like it's actually interacting with yes. yeah but no, it snatches the woman henchman, and then the fucking bad guy is like, I was like a brother to you, like, how could you do this, blah, 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 and he's like, he's like, what happened? It's like, things change, but people like you never will. And then they just awkwardly stand there for five seconds, and he shoots them. Yep. And then he frees the girls, gives them back the fucking medallion that he stole. He takes them back to their dad, even though they've been gone for, like, maybe, like, two a day or, or three two. Days. Yeah, two or three days. And and the dude's totally fine with it. And he's like, I'll understand if you want to press charges. He's like, no, it's fine. Thank you. 
He's like, thanks Bye. for saving my girls, even though you're the one that kidnapped him, and I have literally no idea what actually happened. And then our guy walks down the, a city street <laughs> in the middle of the fucking road while we see the dragon flying in the distance, and the movie ends. Like, th th that is the movie. That is the Th movie. That's, that's it. I, there's no... You don't need any more context because there is none. There's no motivation. There's just, like, there's a stupid, like, in-between scenes where people are just talking about nonsense mm -hmm. and, like, stupid fight scenes and stupid <laughs> scenes with the dragon that make... that literally don't drive the plot along at all. There's no... There's no connections here. There's nothing. It's just... It's just a... It's just an empty movie. It is an empty void, and there's... It, it's like, you made a movie that has no... You just stripped down everything. It there's just, no plot, there's no motivation, there's nothing. We there's, get some vague thing about only, how the... There's only plot to get to the next scene of the movie. Barely. Yeah. Most of the time, people just go places, and then it's just like, oh, I guess they're there now. Like, for example... Okay. When they're, like, going to the uncle's house, it shows the uncle's house from, like, a cave view, right? So we yeah. see, like, the inside of the uncle's house. And then all of a sudden, all the soldiers are, like, attacking a village. And we're not sure if it's the same village or if the it's uncle's a different. In. And yeah. then all of a sudden, our dude comes around and you're just like, oh, that is the same village. Why Why didn't they show the village them coming into the village? Or tell us. Even though it looks like the same village from the beginning of the movie. Because it is. Yes. They just don't bother telling you. You have to just fucking do the math in your head. But yeah, there's no... Like, people just go places, it's not explained. You're just like, oh, I guess they're there now. Okay, that's fine. Well, and like... There's some vague thing about how the main character's wife got killed because of who he, like, associates with. And that's why he's all depressed and... Well, there's no, like, development of any of the characters. They don't get, like, a story. They don't get anything. It's just... No. Bleh, they're just there... They're just there because of movie. Because movie. I'm like he just he took all the structure away. It's just like it's like a <sighs> hollow fucking movie that has no structure. Yeah, it's I don't even know how to explain it. It's weird. It's like really weird. I've never seen a movie where it literally like almost like things happen in it, obviously, because I I mean obviously it's a movie. Something like, has to happen. But like there's just nothing keeping you engaged at all not at all like there's crappy fight scenes i guess if you want to like watch shitty shaky cam and like it looks it literally looks like the cameraman has like cerebral palsy and just fucking just shaking yeah dude even when people face. are just fucking talking it's just like going insane it's weird because uwe bull apparently it been... looks like like the cameraman's like struggling to keep the camera like like on his like all shoulder. Of uwe bull's like recent movies are like that just endless handheld and it's just it's sad but i'm just you know like we watched this movie like we started the movie and i felt nothing and then the movie ended and you know what i felt nothing no like i will f tomorrow i will forget that this movie even fucking existed like we may have watched one of the worst movies that we've ever seen like last time this is one of the most forgettable, like, I've already forgotten most of the plot points. I mean, we always say that Uwe Boll's movies are in a different fucking category. Oh, totally. Because this is, like, Lucifer Complex, at least I fucking remember things. At least I got some fucking amusement out of it. There's this? A, there's a plot structure, dude. This, this fucking blows. Lucifer Complex, there is a plot structure. Yeah. There's a... Like, characters have motivations. Yes. Characters have things that happen to them that drive the plot along. You have good... You have bad guys that are trying to accomplish something. You have good guys that are trying to accomplish something. What What did anybody in this movie try to accomplish? You know what I don't get? That guy already accomplished what he wanted. He killed the king and became king. Yeah, like, he's already king. He's already king. What else does he want? Man. We have no idea. He just wants to kill people because bad. Because bad guy. Yeah. That is li He just wears all black and all his henchmen wear all black and he just kills people for literally no reason. Yep. That's that, the movie. That is the motivation of the bad guy. He just kills because he's bad. Yeah. At least in the Lucifer Complex it was like, oh, they're taking over the world and this is just bleh. And our main character has no 
and I mean no motivation to do anything he does in the movie. Like, there's no, like, driving force. He's just trying to get back home, and then all of a sudden he's engulfed in this fucking war, but, like, for no reason, because there's no reason he's actually emotionally invested in this. No. Because he doesn't... Nothing happens to him. Like, he just... He kisses a girl and I guess decides to fight because of that, but they don't like act like they're in love or anything. No, he just leaves. He just kisses her and leaves, and that's it. And like, well, she, she that fucking kiss will it gave him the will to live. And we don't show him showing any remorse towards the kids in the shipping container. He no. just literally just shoves them in there, says there's some crackers and cookies in the corner and there's some water. I'll be back soon, and we have no idea what he actually planned to do with him. Did he plan to kill them? We don't know. Is no. he a good guy? I have no idea. We'll never know because the movie will not tell you. Like, there is no connections in this movie. No. Like, nothing is connected. It's just all just scenes of just <laughs> things happening. <laughs> just strung together loosely into an hour and 20 minutes. An hour and 20 minutes of bullshit. It's basically like a clip show. Just like, just here. Yeah. We have a dragon, yeah. Here's Here a go. bunch of different vignettes of people fighting and and running doing through the woods shit for an hour and twenty five minutes, and running through a wilderness that has tire tracks in it. I do love that. That was funny. Like I have. I didn't see cars this time, but no cars. And there was an actual castle, but but they they couldn't they couldn't do it. Even when we had the final showdown. It's in a different location. The, the 10 second epic final showdown. It's in a fucking like abandoned factory. Yes. This is, that's it. That was the best he that's could do. That's the best do. he could do. And we still have two we more. We still have two more and I'm not. <laughs> Rampage movies. I'm not happy. <laughs> Dude, I just. I, Cause I, have I think to... we say this every time. I don't know how it could get any worse than this. But it does. It does. Every time it gets worse. It does. <laughs> this thing, This was the fucking worst. Because I think we said that in, in The Name of the King too. Like, how could it get worse? And it did. And oh my god, did it. Yeah, like, we watched fucking Blood Rain 2. We're like, oh, it can't get worse than this. Then we watched Blood Rain 3. And we're like, oh, it, it can't get worse than this. And then we watched In the Name of the King 2. And now this. And it's just... Well, look, it's following suit. See, we watch Blood Rain 2 and we ask, how can it get any worse? And then we watch Blood Rain 3 and we want to be watching Blood Rain 2. Is that his secret tactic? And now it's like, we we watch In the Name of the King 2 and we're like, how can it get any worse? And then we watch In the Name of the King 3 and we want to be watching In the Name of the King 2 because at least it has something. It, 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 tr it Not much. I mean, this is giving like way too much to the fucking no. second movie. But at least things are connected at least a little bit. Yeah, there's like some vague connection. Like stupidly yes, and, and fucking hor horrifically like connected. There's motivation. But at least there's something there. Yeah. There's something it, driving the plot. It's a little the... something, but at least it's something. There's something driving the plot. Yes. But in this, nothing. Nothing. It's just some guy that wants to go back to the future. And we still have to... Why? Because he wants to save two kids that he put in a fucking shipping container. Well, not only does he want to save them, he now wants to shoot. <laughs> he wants to kill his but fucking boss. But what's his boss. motivation for killing his boss? Because he's a bad guy. But so is the, our dude. He just killed a bunch of fucking people in a hotel. But things change. But guys like you never will. Even though... Even though... We've literally seen you do nothing bad the entire movie. We're just supposed we just to know. To, we just have to assume that he's a bad guy. Literally. That like, is because all he does is fucking hold a gun to a kid. And yes, that is bad. It's but bad, but... Up to that point, we have seen him do literally nothing. Nothing. So how are we supposed to be invested that this is a bad guy? When we literally see our hero lock two helpless kids in a shipping container and, like, tie them up mm -hmm. and, like, do, like, and kill a bunch of dudes in a hotel, like, how are we supposed to connect to that? We're not. We like, can't. And then all of a sudden he just is fighting in medieval times for no reason. He has no reason to be invested in that. He's a ruthless assassin. He just wants to get home. Why the fuck does he even fight? 
There's there's literally nothing there to connect why he's fighting for them. I've never seen a movie. It's, it's baffling. I like I've never seen a movie where they don't like give characters motivations for anything. You're just supposed to take a leap of faith on every single person in this movie. Unless the assumption is that he has to kill the fucking evil king and get his medallion and then when he puts the two medallions together it'll summon the thingamajigaboo and that's the yeah but there's nothing telling us that no there isn't i'm just guessing there's no plot i'm it's... guessing that was on the i don't the... know I i'm no... guessing that was on the script page. i have no idea what's the significance of the tattoo they never explain that they're just like oh he has the mark of a hero that's it yeah and it just happens to be the same as the fucking medallion that it, transports because, you. But because he has the mark of a hero, he's a good guy. Because we wouldn't say he's a hero unless we say he's Unless a hero. we mean it, Will. Yeah. Even though he's literally done nothing but bad shit until the, up until this point. He walked into a tattoo parlor one day and was like, yeah, I like that design. Little did he know. Yeah, how did, did was he born? With, it doesn't even explain if he was born with the mark. Like, what? How did Dude, he get the just, mark? It's just a tattoo. It's just there. He has tattoos, whatever. It's fine. This is a, yeah. And they make King 3. <sighs> last the last mission. Not our last mission, unfortunately. No, we have two more. And I'm not I'm not excited. I'm not happy. Dude, like I just I I am dead. <laughs> like this this movie has killed me. I just, I, I don't, I'm, I I'm actually impressed at how, like, little I feel for that fucking movie. I know. Like, it's I just. It's weird. Like, I've never, like, sat after a movie and just, like, wow. I can't like, even get angry about it. I can't either. I can't laugh about it. I can't do anything. It's just, like, it's just a nothing movie. It's just, it's just the thing that wasted an hour and a half of my life. And that's it. That's all it's going to be. Like, it's just. All it was was an hour and 25 minutes. Yeah. That's it'd be literally like, all it was. Yeah, it'd be like if you fucking went on a date with somebody, and then you went home thinking that, like, oh, I'm going to get fucking laid. And then they just fucking lock you in their bedroom for an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and then tell you to go home. Yeah. Like, that's that. That's how this felt like. It's just like, okay. You know, it also felt like, you know, like you have those days where it's like, you just like a relaxing or watching something and then you just fall asleep for like an hour and a half and it's like a blink like you just don't remember falling asleep yeah you just wake up an hour and a half later but at least falling asleep tends to you know r refresh you well maybe. i don't feel i don't, I don't feel anything that's the thing I, I don't feel anything i can't i have such a little care for this that yeah. i literally can't feel anything for it yeah like that's the thing is this is not refreshing it it's is not like by definition, a waste of an hour and a half yeah. of your time. Like I just, I'm just baffled that this fucking idiot went, flew to fucking Bulgaria, and just found a bunch of noobs on the street, cast them in his fucking movie, and then <laughs> had this garbage script, filmed it, had some poor schlub, animate a fucking dragon, <laughs> stick it in there, and then release it, and now I, we watch it, and I just. I just don't fucking care. Watch it. I paid for this shit. You had to rent this shit, and I just don't care. Like, nothing. Ha I, I can't do it. Nothing. I feel... Like... And I'm not kidding here. Anything would be a better... <laughs> any movie! Any movie. I don't care what movie it is. Is any better than this. Well, we haven't seen the two Rampage sequels. No, I'm so. sure, and I'm sure they'll be worse because they're gonna annoy me in my own special way. But <laughs> it's it's Uwe Boll going political. It's Uwe Boll thinking know. that he's a fucking genius, we know and that's how that goes. Because suddenly tried to get political. Yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you imagine? Yeah, if, yeah. Like, go find like a fucking twelve year old and ask them what they think of the world. Yeah. There you go. It'll be fucking Rampage 2 and 3. Actually, the 12-year-old might have better ideas. He'll probably have better ideas. But no, that's what we'll have to suffer through. But anything is better than this shit. Like, it's just... Even a movie that makes you mad, at least it, like, it did something to you. Yeah. 
it had something in there that like riled up an emotion in you see even the lucifer complex it made me mad because yeah. i did not like it at all but it made me angry because i i was trying to analyze it as a film well because also it is a film and i was trying to analyze it and i was getting mad because it's fucking horrendous but my god this is just Empty. I, don't, I don't even care. Also, Lucifer Complex at least did make us laugh. This is just, again, nothing. I mean, it made us kind of laugh, but only because I think it was just so awkward just sitting there and, like, feeling nothing that we had to laugh at least a little bit to, like, break the fucking, like, tension of us, like, losing, like, just fucking brain melting. We had to feel something, so we kind of tried to laugh. But at least we felt something. Well, what... You, I, I can't. You can't even laugh at this fucking movie. No. You can't. Like that, that, that requires way too much fucking energy. And it's like you're. I'm in like a hibernation stage watching it. I just. I have nothing else to say. Like I've already said everything I need to say about this movie because. Fuck this. It's just done. Fuck this movie i'm sorry it's a short review i'm sorry the last one was a short review it's fine because next time we will be back with a normal fucking movie and a normal length no matter how bad it is it's not uve bowl and we're almost done with this fucker that's thank christ we're this, almost done this shit retrospective has almost ruined me it has actually ruined me. It's affected my personal relationships. <laughs> it's it's put me through a goddamn ringer, dude. This is actually the worst decision anyone's ever made yeah, ever. We caused 2020 to be a, such a shit year this by is it. trying to do it. Like this only adds to the shittiness of the year. It does. Because but we've had to sit through just film after film after film of these fucking Yeah. Like, just absolute fucking just complete utter waste of a unit dude the best thing is when we're when we finish rampage 3 that is going to be the best feeling of 2020 dude is that this fuck it'll be like the only is done one of the only good feelings of 2020 it will be the first good feeling of the year i'll be like finally the light finally at the end of the tunnel we're done we don't have to talk about him ever again. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so happy. And then once we get to like this fucking I might cry. This cursed century and we're doing the movies and then we get to one of his will be like, Nope. We can skip it. Skip because guess what's in our catalog now? It's done. It's on the channel. It's fucking solidified. It's over. It's it's done. It's like the fucking end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay? <laughs> It's just, just fucking, it's just fucking <laughs> in a over. giant warehouse of weird shit. It just that's, locked away. That's all of our movies that were not like some of the movies that we're never gonna watch again. And in like a special corner, there's the yeah. Uwe Bull films <laughs> that we is, never have to touch ever again. Classified. This is not... <laughs> warning. Do not enter. <laughs> oh fucking hell. <sighs> yeah, so, fu uh, as always, fuck you, Uwe Boll. Fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. you fucking you, scam artist. All you do is waste people's time. And, uh, honestly... You can't even fucking muster up an emotion in me with your bullshit. Yeah. A whole fucking hour and a half and you couldn't muster up anything. I can't, I can't. Go fuck yourself. One of the only movies I've felt nothing for. Just go step on a Lego. Please. I'm, I'm fucking done with you. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just going to get on a rant on Movie Bowl if we don't end it here. So End it. For They mostly come out tonight. This has been Will. This has been Alex. And we will talk to you all next time. Bye. Bye. Ugh.